This is Alan Weaver. I'm going to show you a few techniques here with this photo here. I'm going to work on a couple of things here. Blurring out the background, adjusting the color, and also get, getting rid of this plant and this thing over the guy's head. Uh, I'm going to be doing this as a quick overview. We're not going to see a perfect photo in here just for the sake of time. First thing I want to do, if I have this layer here, the background, I usually want to duplicate it. I don't want to mess that up. So I right click in here and I duplicate the layer. So I have a new layer here and I'm going to call this blurred. Okay. We want to blur out the background. We also want to work with the color first. Uh, you sometimes have to think these things out. And if I go to the Control Shift L, Enhance Color, and we will see that this looks a little better. Okay. Uh, on here. I'm on that Move tool here. If you're in between functions, do that. And you can also do Enhance Auto Smart Fix. That does it too. Okay, much better results there. First thing, I, next thing I want to do here, I'm going to be blurring out the background um, on here. There's different ways of doing this. I'm going to show you a really easy way. We're going to have two layers on top of each other, one with the blurred area, the other one with, with the clear area. I'm, so I'm going to um, right click inside here and I'm going to duplicate this layer too. And we're going to call this focused. Okay. Now, we have the background. We're going to cut out the people out of the background. So that means we have to put the blurred section above. We just drag it up. And to blur this, we click on filter. It shows Gaussian blur here. Or we could say blur, Gaussian blur. Make it like four or five, maybe six or so. It shows a preview here. And you could see how this is here. You don't want a tube blur. That's annoying. I would keep the number low, maybe 4.7, maybe 6 or 7. So we'll say, okay, very good. What we want to do now, this is the blurred background. The background is actually on top of the foreground. Think of these as curtains in front of each other. So I want to erase. So we go over here, we find the eraser tool, and we start erasing. Do, 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 do. And you can see clear clarity in here, okay? Now take a look over here. Do you see a section here where it's showing it emptied out here? What you can do, if you want to work better with this to get just erase everything in here, I hide these layers. So it's showing the holes in here. And now I just keep erasing and erasing. You can put it back on to see how you're doing. Okay, so let's just keep doing this. As you can see, everything's been erased here. So now I click in the back, the focused area here. So we see a diffuse background with a focused foreground. As I said, this is in between, okay? So you kind of have to use your logic just to repeat this again. What I want to do now, I want to get rid of these things straggling out of her head. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just shut this off here makes things a little bit easier, especially when you're cloning. You can always erase stuff that you clone in the wrong area. So I'm going to click on the clone tool, which is the rubber, the clone stamp tool right here. Okay. Now I have to sample areas out of here. I can make it a little larger if I need to. And then I alt click and then I go and just drag over it. That little plus you see there Below the circle is where you're sampling from. You might have to resample. In fact, you often have to do that just to get a nice, clean look. And then you have to get right in really close on there. Otherwise, it's going to look like she's got some spikes coming out of her hair. As you can see, I got other stuff here I didn't clone right. So I go over here. Do that. Do it in short strokes. That way you can always undo. I can even fix get that wall switch out. Got this little stuff here. 
See how I got this little thing over the guy's head? I'm going to enlarge this. Scroll up. And I can see this little area here to erase. Click on the eraser. Get rid of that. Got a little bit of his hair there. Got to erase that. Now I'm going to go back to the clone tool. And then I sample over here. And then I just go over there. Shrink it down again. Go over here. Make sure it blends. If it doesn't blend right, it's going to look unnatural. On here. Practice makes perfect. Shrink it down. So we got that. Put that on. Looks pretty good. We're still seeing a few sprouts around her head here from the plant. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to enlarge again. And now I'm up here. I make sure I'm on the clone tool, which I am. And then I start cloning right over here, going over it. And you can see I just went into her head. I undo. So let's make it a little larger. Scroll to the right. Go over here. And now I just go right over this. I can also get rid of stray hairs on there. Like if I wanted to get rid of stray hairs on her chest, I could literally go to the layer down here, alt click in here, and just go over her chest, make sure I don't reproduce her dress up there. But I'm just cleaning up her hairdo just a little bit. And as I said, you do too much of it, it's going to look unnatural. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of hair over there. You don't want to retouch it too much. Otherwise, the picture looks artificial. But you can see how I got a little bit of tan in here. I could just clone over here. Get a little bit darker, okay? So that way she has her hair. We shrink it down. We got something that looks pretty darn good. So we got the finished product here. We got the original photo here. If you want to save it, it will become a PSD.